My Zoomer of the week is Hamza Yousaf appearing at the Edinburgh Fringe. He said that his opponent should F off. Yes, here is Nice. Here is Hamza Yousaf has an extra message for bigots. Well, as he urges Scots to ignore those who uh, dismiss them. Well, it's, it depends what your definition of bigots is to some extent. He says, this may be an uncomfortable message for some, but I've spent most of my political <laughs> life being told by mainly middle-aged white conservatives, both in politics and frankly some in the media, that I'm not smart I'm out of my depth, <laughs> essentially saying you don't belong here in the political realm. And yeah, I hope that any other person, whether it's your colour, whether it's your gender, whether it's your background, if you get told actually you don't belong here, you should kind of look at me and say F you. Yeah. Now, aside from the unprofessional language, let's look at this claim. Notice how, first of all, he targets white middle-aged conservatives. Now, I am generally a white middle-aged person, and occasionally I have been known to be conservative. Um, I can tell you, though, that it's 100% not the case. Over my career, I've uh, hired people of all colours, races, genders, and politics. For example, when we worked in Japan, we had 40 employees from 16 different countries. So, and I don't even know what the religions of half those people were. And I found out that people who claim that their problems arise from their colour or their identity are usually the stupidest. Yeah, and that goes for white people too, I have to add, you know, being a, as being an immigrant in a non-white country. So I don't care what anyone looks like and what gender they are, what background they have. Although at this point, I should mention that Yus Hamza Yousaf has had a privileged background, extremely privileged. Yeah. He came from a wealthy family, went to a private school, yes. was elected to a job that had a hundred thousand, pays a hundred thousand a year for doing zero work, and yeah. he's become the first minister. So how exactly has he been told he doesn't belong here? He's at the top Quite. of the Scottish society. Absolutely. Right? So I care. What I actually care about, and I believe the most Scottish voters care about, is not the colour of your skin or your gender or your identity, but your competence right. in the job. And Hamza Yousaf has proven time and time again that he doesn't have any. This is a man who failed in every government department he's been assigned to. He, yeah. He's a man who, when, well, Minister of Transport, drove a car without a licence. He thought it was a good idea to ride a, ride a scooter at high speed down a government corridor, resulting in an entirely predictable crash. And he thinks having the Greens in power is a great idea while everyone else looks on in horror, including people in his own party. Yeah. He tried to harass people of colour who accuse him of racism because they wouldn't put his kid in the nur their nursery. A man who's relentlessly stupid, galactically stupid, so stupid he should be used as an international measurement of stupidity. <laughs> oh, how stupid is he? He's 0 0.5 Humzas. Oh, jeez, oh, that's bad. But it would never go over one, though, would it? <laughs> if you, Humza, for trying to guilt us into putting up with your failures, stop using your colour, skin colour, and other excuses that shield for your incompetence. Stop trying to get sympathy for your idiocy. Whoa. There we go. Well, <laughs> I, I think I think you win for passion, Mark. <laughs> no, yeah. 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 I just say uh, it's just it's so much victim shape blaming and shifting the blame and all that. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't think that's the thing, case at all. I mean, it's you know, it's like just do your job and do it well. Exactly. That's what we want to hear. We don't want to hear you blaming folk, white middle aged conservatives. You probably haven't even met many white middle aged conservatives. <laughs> Yeah, well, as Sean Geddes says, if you're incompetent, you're incompetent, no matter what colour you are. Yeah, that's right. Let's, you know, it's, it's, here, here. Who cares about that? If you care about that, you're an idiot. That's the thing. Whether you care about it, you know, positively or negative, let's just, you know, can you do the job or not? You can't do the job. It's as simple as that. Moving on.